Alrighty, hello everyone, my name's Colin, welcome to Onion Skin, continuing on with Controlling the Beast, a mini-series showing off how to use uh, a bunch of working files that I uploaded recently. And um, this one is all about the claw hand. In this test scene, it was the only part of the video to be animated completely traditionally, a frame-by-frame -frame sequence of the claw opening and closing. I uploaded the file on its own for you to have a muck around with, and I'll show you how to use it. So this is the file by itself. You can see there's two layers, a rough and the final. This is probably the most straightforward one. You can really see what's going on pretty simply. Uh, the selection tool will pick up pieces of artwork and move them around, yes. Um, but what I want to point out is the X sheet. This is something that's available to everyone except Harmony Essentials users. But it gets a few more features the further you go up. And what I've done here is I want to point out the starting and the ending frames are marked with this K and the one halfway is marked with B. These stand for keyframe and breakdown drawings and using these switches up here, I can control what I see when flipping between drawings. So if I turn on this K here and then hold shift before flipping my drawings back and forth, Notice that it skips everything except the open and close ones. If I turn on the B, it will show the one in the middle. And if I turn everything off, it will play each new drawing. And if I let go of shift completely, it's going to scrub through every individual frame. So this is a really beneficial tactic when you're especially inking over a rough. So when I was animating this, I had my two rough keyframes like this, and I wanted to draw the one in the middle. The onion skin feature, which is not me, it is an actual feature, uh, is here on the layers. It's these kind of three lines here. Turn that on, brackets appear, and you can pull them out, and it will show time itself. You can see the future, you can see the past, and it's a completely chaotic mess. You can't actually... <laughs> it's really hard to work with this sometimes. But because I've labeled these frames as such, I can turn on the keyframe button and flip over to the drawing view. Uh, the drawing view gets rid of everything that isn't the layer you're currently working on. And notice now with that button turned on to when it's turned off, it only shows the keyframes. So that means I could go to this middle frame here and start drawing it and very clearly see what was going on. It really, really is a handy tool. And I use it a lot when doing frame by frame animation like this. So hopefully that helps you out if you're doing some traditional. I've just started uploading a full series on doing rough animation. So definitely check that out. Have some fun. I'll catch you in the next one.